हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम दर्शन देवड़े फ्रॉम इंग्लिश डिपार्टमेंट खेट एच एम कॉलेज नासिक इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डील विथ ए पोएम वेर द माइंड इज विदाउट फियर बाय रविंद्रनाथ टैगोर यू नो हु वॉज रविंद्रनाथ टैगोर से रविंद्रनाथ टैगोर इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट पोएट्स ऑफ इंडिया He has composed various poems, stories, essays, novels, dramas, and songs. The poem "Where the Mind Is Without Fear" was written during the period when India was struggling for freedom from the British rule. It was a part of Gitanjali, a compilation of all his poems, which was published in Bengali. In this poem Rabindranath Tagore expresses his love for his country and prays to the almighty for its well-being In this prayer the poet says that his countrymen should not live in fear any more and must do away with the evils of society they must live with respect dignity honesty and perfection he prays to god for the freedom of his beloved nation see rabindranath tagore lived from 1861 to 1941 and he was the youngest son of debendranath tagore a leader of the brahmo samaj which was a new religious sect in 19th century bengal and which attempted a revival of the ultimate monistic basis of hinduism as laid down in the upanishads he was educated at home and although at 17 he was sent to england for formal schooling he did not finish his studies there in his mature years in addition to his many sided literary activities he managed the family estate a project which brought him into close touch with common humanity and increased his interest in social reforms he also started an experimental school at Shant shantiniketan where he tried his upanishadic ideals of education from time to time he participated in the indian nationalist movement though in his own non sentimental and visionary way and gandhi the political father of modern india was his beloved friend tagore was knighted by the ruling british government in 1915 but within a years he resigned the honor as a protest against british policies in india tagore had early success as a writer in his native bengal with his translations of some of his poems he became rapidly known in the west although tagore wrote successfully in all literary genres he was first of all a poet now you know this poem is a sort of prayer where the mind is without fear by rabindranath tagore is one of his vastly read and discussed poems it was originally composed in bengali possibly in 1900 under the title prarthana meaning prayer it appeared in the volume called naivedya in 1901 later in 1911 tagore himself translated the bengali poem into english and that translation appeared as poem 35 in his nobel winning anthology gitanjali it means songs offerings published by the indian society london in 
see this is the original bengali script this poem was translated by rabindranath tagore himself see where the mind is without fear it means see here rabindranath tagore prays to god and says that i want a kind of country where mind would be without fear it means he lays down a kind of condition it means what sort of india he wants this is a sort of a dream which he says it means he wants an extraordinary india it means what kind of india he wants that it stated over here in this prayer it means he makes a kind of prayer to god and says i want this sort of india what sort of india where the mind is without fear say the first line of the poem a part of which is the title itself holds a very significant meaning where the mind is without fear and the head is held high fear in this line refers to the fear inculcated in the minds of indians under the british rule here the poet is speaking about the miserable life led by people dominated by the british the poet envisions india as a country where the people's minds are free from fear and they live a dignified life he also wants to convey that freedom can be attained only when the mind is fearless and the head is held high with respect and dignity in this line where the no where knowledge is free the poet says that gaining independence would also give them the freedom to acquire knowledge and be self reliant which was restricted during the british rule next line see where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls see in this line the poet speaks about the various civils that crept into the society at that time the british use the divide and rule policy by creating rivalries enmity among different sections of the society narrow domestic walls here refers to the walls of religion race caste and creed created by people it means ravindra tagore do not want does not want in fighting it may also refer to the various superstitious beliefs that prevailed in the society during that time where the words come from see where the words come out from depth of truth it it implies that the poet envision his countrymen to live their lives with honesty and at most truth it means he wanted his countrymen to be loyal to his own country if countrymen are loyal to the country only then the country can become strong the very tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection here personifications has been used for tireless striving the poet says that one's goal should be to attain perfection that is to say to be an ideal country and all those years of struggle would finally reach its goal of attaining freedom and perfection 
it means see the strength of the nation lies in its people if people are not skilled how can a nation become a strong nation it means skill is important where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit the poet here uses metaphor for reason and habit he refers to reason as a clear stream that is pure and not contaminated here he is speaking about the thoughts of people which he says should be clear noble honest and free from all sorts of corruption dreary desert sand of dead habit refers to the evils in the society like the superstitious practices that lack lack logic and reason next line where the mind is led forward by the into ever widening thought and action into the heaven of freedom my father let my country awake in these last three lines the poet prays to the almighty for his guidance and support to attain independence the poet wishes his countrymen to be led forward by their noble thoughts and actions he refers to freedom as a heavenly place and addresses god as father asking him to awaken his people and help them reach the glorious place friends in this poem rabindranath tagore is seeking the help of god he is praying to god for granting freedom to india for a better idea he says to the god oh god please awaken my people awaken my countrymen to fight against british rule and make this country free this is the audience request he is making over here rabindra tagore was very saddened by the miserable lives of his countrymen under the british rule and the state of his country in their struggle for independence in this poem he shows his love for his country and prays to god to help them attain freedom the poet here envisions india as a country where the people live without any kind of fear or oppression and hold their head high with pride dignity and self reliance he also says that knowledge should be attained without any restriction there should be no discrimination based on caste creed race or religion india must reach towards its goal of attaining freedom and being an ideal nation the countrymen must possess noble thoughts and they must do away with all the superstitious beliefs that defy logic and reason the poet prays to god for what seeking his support and guidance for his countrymen to have noble thoughts and actions he is ask god to awaken them into this heaven like place of an independent nation friends do you know what is the theme dealt with over here see the poem was composed in the early 90s when india was struggling for independence 
from the British rule. It is the poet's prayer to the Almighty, seeking his guidance and support to help the countrymen attain freedom. The poem is patriotic in nature, and so we have the theme of patriotism. We have the theme of patriotism. The poet expresses his love for his country and speaks about the vision he has for India and its people. It means love for one's country is another theme. Through his poem, he gives us an idea about the kind of life people were living during the British rule. The stringent rules, policies, economical and political uncertainty were some of the factors that caused fear in the minds of Indians. They could not live in yes, Indians. They could not live a dignified and respectful life in their own country. Obtaining a proper education was restricted for various classes of the society causing illiteracy among people and making them believe in superstitions the british used the divided rule policy against the indians to make them fight among themselves there was discrimination based on caste creed race and religion and so over here, Ravidra Tagore is making a kind of prayer. Oh God, please awaken my people where their mind would be free from fear, where they would speak truth, where they would strive for perfection, where they would discard superstitious practices and would imbibe, would inculcate scientific thought. It means he wants similar kind of country and that's why he's praying to God, Oh God, please awaken my people for fighting against Britishers and I want a country where people would hold their head high in respect and they would no longer droop their head in front of the British rule and continue to be their slaves. See, it was during the struggle for independence, the poet says that he, he envisions a country where there is no fear in the minds of people and education is attained by all. The people are enlightened and do not create walls of discrimination. He wants his countrymen to be honest and thoughtful. He prays to God, seeking his guidance for attaining independence and awakening his countrymen into that beautiful heaven of freedom. Thank you friends.